say it extorted because, bro, he's he telling people, hey, man, hey, I, I got y'all. <laughs> it's just funny to me, man. I'm sorry. But he said, I got the money. And, and, and y'all, if y'all say something about it, uh, I'm going to pay y'all. But if y'all if y'all say something about it, then I'm not going to pay pay y'all or whatever. Hey, guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Good afternoon! Man, check this out, man. As always, full disclosure, man. Last night's video, 5,000 views, 10.3 click through rate. Love that, man. 426 likes. Y'all boys absolutely killing it, man. Hey, can I ask y'all a question? It's just being between me and y'all. Y'all think we can get the 700 likes tonight, man? I think if we get the 700 likes, it's going to put us at that 10,000 views and we going to the moon. Man, listen, I appreciate that, man. Also, man, we want to take a second out to get y'all up with this Noted Gang Wall of Fame, man. Anytime y'all come through and say what's up first, Noted Gang Wall of Fame. Hey, man, the worst, the worst nemesis, he knew what it is. Love your contact, Jay. No cap, cap on, no cap off, man. Hey, he said, hey, 2K, hey, Crook says, uh, listen, 2K needs to take notes from the Epic Games and reopen servers for old 2K got a month just to see how it goes yeah, yeah, take a month to see how it goes man i can see that going on something like that kind of like i call the duty drop that game and y'all see how that's going right now man also i keep hitting the wrong button sorry about that hey man my guy freddy he just says hey has shooting actually changed over time over the past couple of months or is it just the latency change i think the latency i think it's latency because the shooting is fine uh since the game since the game dropped I might miss my first shot, and as soon as I adjust to the shooting, it's pretty easy. Uh, if you have all gold and Hall of Fame shooting badges, there's no reason for you to be struggling. And uh, if you have a 75 and can't shoot, just realize that you're just not him, man. Hey, man, listen, man, that's harsh words from that guy Freddie, man, but hey, it is what it is, man. But listen, hope you guys enjoyed that video last night. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Make sure y'all like the video. Comment y'all thoughts down below. Like I said, we're trying to get to 800 likes today and 8,000 views so we can go to the moon, Alice. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all. Now, speaking of things that, uh, speaking of shooting, man, I really think that the trouble that I, I always told y'all that I always have trouble shooting Saturday and Sunday evening and then Saturday evening Sunday evening and I also had trouble shooting on uh you know Monday morning and stuff like that and let me tell you what I think my hypothesis is I think that's because those are the event times you guys see how the events impacted things yesterday we know that 2k can do things and and like I said it's completely unintentional that was the point of that video last night if you won a game in the wreck or in the or in the event center, people were telling me not only not only did you have to play with the same, uh, did you get kicked into the lobby, but if you lost the game, it would put you out there with the same team uh, over and over, man. And it was just like 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 what? Like how how does that even make sense? But to add insult to injury, what they were doing was uh, if you were to quit that game, some people said they were getting get <laughs> they were getting one twenties or, or what have you like that, man. So. Um, I, I I don't know, man. It it is it is what it is. That boy Don work. He actually said something about it, man. And this is what he had to say. He said, "So when I win, they kick me out of the lobby and disband your team. But when you lose, they try to lock you back in with the same trash guys. This company is insane." And like we said, I already knew that that was only going to be during rush and that they were going to straighten it out this morning and all that. But the whole point of that was to was to let everybody know that they can make a change to something else. And we know that this was a change that was completely over here and it was made to that. And then, you know, it impacted other parts of the game. So it could be that, you know, that they didn't try to do it. They, nothing was tried, nothing was attempted. It's something that just happened. But the way that it happened was by them changing something else in the game. That's all we were trying to say, man. And so, like we said, now it's back to normal. As y'all will be able to see when this game is over with, we're going to be back to normal. And, uh, you know, I'll be able to play again with the same team, man. But, hey, it is what it is. But j just wanted to show that. So, even though they didn't make shooting changes for certain things, those shooting changes could be impacting the game. Uh, you know, just... just in a in a in a negative way or whatever man speaking of shooting changes man my boy t Mizley, he put this video out man i want y'all to go check it out he's he's he did an experiment do you need boost or do you not need boost man hey it is what it is he went and shot for a whole day not using boost 
y'all gonna have to see what the outcome was of that man because i'm not gonna tell y'all link is down in the description it's the shocking truth about using no boost uh you using using no shooting boost in nba 2k24 and uh, all that good stuff also man he said like like you said he's still shooting lights out with everything he also said that uh that no matter what they tell you heat check has been changed and it seems like uh you know with heat check being changed uh you, you used to be able to you used to get a slightly early maybe but you never got a slightly late now you're getting slightly early and slightly late. And like you said, the meter is no longer filled up. So that's just what it is. Hey, that boy Jay Jones said, the calm community requests for fun factor in NBA 2K uh, and less realism actually seems more casual in nature. Uh, the, stuff that they, the stuff that they be asking for actually has nothing to do with competition or any skill gap. You're absolutely right about that. Now, we just talking, we're not talking about the whole con community, man. We're just talking about parts of it. You know, the ones that are saying, yo, yo, we need to be able to speed boost. We need to be able to do that. I want to be able to shoot shots in people's face. I want to be able to fade. I want to be able to do all that stuff. Like, it doesn't have anything to do with it, man. And the crazy part about it is, that's the part of the comp community that you hear about and stuff like that. But this is the part that you never hear about right now, man. This is right here. Bro, I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, dudes, I ain't no dudes is out here real life getting extorted, man. That's how I feel, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all, man. Hey, listen, don't shoot the messenger. Hey, I I'm just delivering the news, man. But listen, my boy, Famous Enough, my boy T. Misley, he, he sent this to me this morning, and Famous Enough said, hey, dude deactivated, dude deactivated. Y'all definitely not getting paid. I told y'all in August to stop playing in that league, but nope, y'all kept on doing it. And he says, hey, man, keep trying to help uh, keep trying to help. And y'all see that we, they put us in the same lobby. We still so say everything is fine. Keep trying to help uh, people who don't want to help themselves. And he said, facts, man. And then he said, hey, wise man, wise old man was preaching, man. And that was Dynasty right there. So, you know, I had to go back and see what Famous said in August. He just, and this is what he said in August, August 23rd. Daily reminder not to play in this. UBL still owes you about 1300 from a tournament that, was, that he won 50 days ago. And they blatantly said, they won't be paying him. I mean, he said, this ain't this ain't the first time either. This was some people saying, this ain't the first time. Uh, he says, I heard, I'll just, I'm just reminding every, uh, reminding y'all every single day now. And then, you know what I'm saying? He said, LOL, well, the league over, the that league over, he's getting uh, the famous daily post. Uh, it's over with or whatever like that, man. Hey, hold on one second. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show y'all, show y'all that shot right now, boy. I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, man, it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday, so you know what time it is. Trades up, Green B. Money team splash down. I'm sparking because it's Tuesday, man. But it is what it is, man. Hey, but like we said, man, you say this ain't the first time. People saying, you know, dinner's over. All they say every single day reminder. And he said, I, and he says, um, and he said they actually blatantly said it. they did. Obviously, they deleted their tweet. But hey, he said, don't y'all owe you bots? And he said, pay you bots his money, you scammers. Can I still join? <laughs> And I still tell it, they don't pay out if you win. That's crazy that people running leagues and stuff like that. That's why I always wanted, I wanted to try to run the EPL, the Easy Premier League. And, and so y'all, this is for you guys though. But it's just, it's, but like I said, I don't have the time to do it. And then if I got to delegate, when you get too many hands in the pot, if I'm running it and I'm doing it, I know what's going on. But when you get too many hands in the pot, maybe stuff like this can happen. We don't know how this happened. We don't know a whole lot about it. But hey, Famous also said, this is easy. This is August in September. He said, so he said, so UBL got y'all again, I see. Um, had y'all sign up for tournaments, told y'all, told y'all no money. He's gonna give y'all $75 in VC cards. Turns out he was pocketing y'all money and and a plug was stealing the cards. The plug got caught and he gave y'all $50 VC instead. Bro was pocketing y'all money and having somebody steal VC cards. Bro, I don't even know how you steal VC cards because they say you got to scan them joints before. They don't even, you got to activate, scan them to activate them. So the scam, scammer must have got caught trying to scam them out of the store, scan them out of the store. He said, good business model for, for real, no troll. Uh, it's the punch man's fault, not his. And he says, hey, no players didn't, no players didn't sign up through anybody but UBL. So that uh, so therefore UBL is responsible for for reimbursing them or for reimbursing them, not the punch man. Folks need to learn gaming policies when it comes to running a tournament. And he says, hey, I stopped caring. I stopped caring when the same people complaining kept signing up. Exactly. You can't help people that don't want to be helped. 
facts exactly why i stopped posting about it every day and that's all it was ubl was waiting on it man because listen this is this is keep it real it just sounded to me that the comp community want to seem so comp and so doggone legit and all of that that y'all are completely fine with getting it started i mean all the tough talk all the stuff that we got to hear about this i i do this i do that i do that shut the fuck up shut the fuck Bro, y'all out here getting extorted by this guy and this guy, like, like, how is that happening? And why I'm saying extorted because, bro, he, he telling people, hey, man, hey, I, I got y'all. <laughs> this is funny to me, man. I'm sorry, but he tell I got the money and and, and y'all, if y'all say something about it, uh, I'm going to pay y'all. But if y'all don't, if y'all say something about it, then I'm not going to pay, pay y'all or whatever. And the crazy thing is Dynasty actually got, he, he's one of the people that he owes some money to and all of that, man. And it is just crazy because you see, hey, hey he said, bring back the UBL draft overnight. Uh, best time on 2K. No troll. This was in October 18, right? But then November 12th, here we go. Don't sign up for the UBL Affiliates League. They owe us thousands of dollars from last 2K. Bruh, how is that the best time that you had? It's not getting paid the best time. I never had a good time not getting paid, bro. I don't care how fun something is, and I just don't understand how they don't have the money. But we're going to talk about that in one second. He said, don't sign up. They owe us thousands of dollars from last 2K, yet y'all keep signing up. So I just don't understand your glutton for punishment. Continues to run tournaments and take money from people. We've been getting dragged along, giving, ev uh, giving every excuse under the sun for the last four months. This is ridiculous. But y'all keep playing. So how badly do you really want some type of retribution or whatever? And it is absolutely insane, man. Hey, this is just this is one of the UBL things, man. He told them boys, hey, all of y'all and a few others I didn't tag. I apologize for still owing you guys, uh, owing you guys. Well, why he got Suge Knight up there? Ain't Suge Knight picked up that? That is insane. Hey, hey, but he, hey, listen, man. He says, he says, hey, I apologize for still owe you guys for winning tournaments and and uh and paid ones. I'm still working myself out of my financial issues with my personal business and league and league money held. I will get you guys right as soon as I can. Lazy TV, you can SMD soft, and we and you won't get a pity from me. And I and I hope I never come across you. Uh, come across you as personal. That's insane right there. And then he says, hey, anyone else that has an issue can follow suit. I put thousands more money out of my personal pocket than I could ever take from take from it. I will get, uh, listen, I will get right and I'll get back. I'm working on, I mean, I'm working on it as fast as I can. And then like I said, bro, so you see that right there. That's, that's, that's what he said right there. Hey man, I ain't, listen. If he's telling y'all what's going on and y'all still rocking with it, like, how could you possibly get mad? Like, he's telling y'all, I ain't paid y'all because I'm going through some financial issues, right? And y'all still are rocking, y'all still entering the leagues expecting to get paid. Like, at this point, it's your fault, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, if you ain't pay me one, you get one time to not pay me, and then I'm just not rocking with you no more. Or we just won't rock with you that way. He said, and he's gone. There goes everybody's money. And they say hey, something went wrong. Hey, the UBL leaves, they go, man. And then Dynasty says, hey, this is a, this is a classic moment. The moment you speak about, uh, the moment you speak about where the money is, he blocks you and says, this is the part where I'm talking about people getting extorted. And he blocks you and says, he's not sending you anything. He forces you not to, he forces you to not say, bro, you can't force me into not saying nothing, bro. I'm just gonna tell you like that. That's setting everybody else, hey, if you got extorted and you didn't say anything about it, in my mind, bro, you're just as big as fuck because as you got to tell people that this is not somebody that you want to rock with, man. I'm sorry. It is what it is, but he forces you, he forced you to do nothing. You did it because you wanted your money, but uh, you thought you were going to get your money. But anyway, he forced you to not say anything uh, or else or you won't get a dime. We've been we've been patient for four to five months, eating up every excuse he throws us. The UBL leagues is a scam, and this is something that he said right here, man. He just said, "Hey, I'll be subst I'll be subtracting the total payout by Lazy's amount. I will get you guys taken care of when I'm out of my financial trouble." And he said, "Hey, looks like Dynasty's cut will be gone as well." Listen to me, man. How does somebody stay in business? When you like it don't make me it don't make no sense to me man like like I said this is this is a this is essentially what's going on yo hey it's like T and Nino say hey I bet Harden score 50 tonight 
Y'all boy, <laughs> y'all ain't gonna bet nothing on it. Okay, cool. T say he gonna score 50. Nino say he not scoring 50. Hey, why don't y'all put 50 on it? Y'all put 50 on it and give it to me? Bet. They gave me the money, right? Harden plays the game. He scores 50. So now T gets 50 bucks. For, I gotta give him his money, right? But I don't got the money. Well, Jay, what you did with the money? We just gave it to you. Oh, bro, I went down there and spent. I bought some blacks and, and, and you know, I'm talking about a, a tray a tray five and something like that. You know what I'm saying? Like anything, it doesn't matter what it does. Like we said, it doesn't matter what you It think. doesn't matter what I did with the money. The whole point is I spent the money and it wasn't my money to spend. And then the next time that they do a bet, they're going to let me play escrow, bro. Like at some point, it is your own fault. Y'all dying to sign up for the leagues because you just want to be comp so bad and be on the scene. And maybe it's just because it's an accredited league that got, I just don't understand it, bro. You get one time to do something like that to me and I'm never rocking with you again. And that's why I said, if I do the, do the easy premier league, it's just for y'all, it's just for fun. I'm going to take my cut out of it. Obviously, if you run in a tournament, you're supposed to get a cut. But bro, how, how do you just... I just don't understand it. Like you gotta pay people their money back, bro. It, but at the same time, after they after they hustle, if you get hustled and you keep allowing yourself to get hustled, then what do we do? Like what's going on really? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think. That's what I'm saying. Like you like people getting extorted because it's like, that's why I thought it was funny he changed his joint to Suge Knight. Cause hey bro, you're getting extorted, bro. If if he's saying, hey, you can't, you cannot if you tell somebody, I'm not giving y'all, I'm not giving you your cut. What? What? Hey, listen, it's the internet. Ain't nobody can find you. Ain't nobody can do nothing to you. We, we all aware of that. But it's just the fact that, dang, like, knowing that I can't do anything else, why why would I continue to shop with you? That's all I'm saying. But y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Is it their own fault for just want to be so comp? Or, you know, what is it, man? Y'all let me know. And uh, would you shop with somebody after they got you the first time and borderline extorting you? For your money, you better not tell nobody. But you better not tell nobody. Or you better not tell nobody or McDougal. Bro, come on, man. Yo, you going for that? I'm telling the whole world. Like, and I'm that's why I'm proud of y'all. When y'all thought I was extorting people last year with that whole thing, but then y'all found out it was YouTube, boy, four, five people aired me out. And everybody knew that was in YouTube. They knew that we were blocking the bots as fast as we could. And those were bots. I'm not on Telegram. I'm not on any of that stuff, bro. So, so you know what I'm saying? Y'all aired me out immediately. I don't know why these people didn't air him out immediately but if you didn't at some point <laughs> it's your own fault man it is what it is anyway y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section i'm gonna holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop <laughs> aka the people's tell. Gosh, baby.